Okay. So I am cleaning up. I'm just should be more important to me than Christ. That's the life that I live. And Lord, what I'm doing here today, getting is cleaning up. Cleaning up. important. So I have to beware of time. Jesus help me to beware of time. See we gotta think about it. We are um, in eternity. So I ask the Lord to help me because it's been a real I don't want no, please God, I just, I just don't, I don't know if, you know, it's just time, it's just time out, you got to be aware of it, okay, beware of different things. Everything. Cast it off. 
all the works of darkness. Sometimes we put things important that is not important. Isn't that something? So help me, Father, to know what's important, what's not important. Please. So it's going to be a day and it's going to be an hour. We don't know it. We don't know it. He said, be me also ready. I can't just tell people to be ready. I got to be ready. Yes, Lord. I'm about to say, get my house in order. So it's going to let it be a spot. Hold out like All right. Lord, thank you for taking me away from that song and uh, helping me, helping me to do something that's constructive, something that's not about just uh, the internet, what the devil wants. It's the internet, no. So I got an inner man. Okay? And so now he's coming up with something to my inner net. So he done created an inner net for my inner man. Mm -mm. He done been found out, Satan. You ain't finna do no inner net here. Mm -mm. Let me move these people on over here so they can see me cleaning up. So, thank you, Lord. We got to come on in with it. This is going to be a great day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are just time. You know how people uh, get ready when it's time to crawl. All that they believe in is a God too. He's my God. He comes. He comes and I believe it. Every time God him. Oh my Lord. So you gotta start 
get in the house and order and let people know Jesus is coming. Get all excited and go and tell everybody that Jesus Christ is king. He is king. I never met a king, but I thank God for this one. He is a true king and he is on the way. He already here. He's already here. We're waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me do what I got to do. So your house got to be in order. Because when the night comes, no man can work. So we don't know what this evil generation is, is doing. So I got to have my dishes washed. Just let those dishes be sitting up there like that, and then they not clean, and then something go down, and you ain't even got no dishes. You know what's going to happen, Lord. We don't know. We can't sit up in that light. We can Jesus is coming. Jesus is on the way. He's trying to get all this. As I meet people, I'm going to tell them about the goodness of the Lord. Clean them up. Just let no dirty people be standing before you and you ain't even trying to clean them up. Mm -mm. Tell them about the goodness of the Lord. Tell them about the goodness of the Lord. And now we're going to be here. Time for you to be saved and born again. See? See how you fish? You ain't know they was going to get in the water. Mm hmm That's natural. It's spiritual. Come on here. We got to clean this up. Come on here. We're going to do all of this in Jesus' name. Let me get my charger. You ain't going to cut it off. I'm going to put you on back here. Thank you, Lord, for letting me see that it was going down in the charge. You got to have eyes to see when stuff going down in the charge. Okay. There you go. Gotta have eyes to see. The charge is going down. But we gotta have eyes to see. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lord. Eyes to see. That the charge going down. You can just see the charge going down and don't do nothing about it. Put you some water in it. Yeah, you don't never know what you're going to need some water. You need where I boil my water. But I'll put this in there. And uh, we're doing what we're doing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Getting ready for my Lord and Savior. He on the way. We don't know when he's coming back. But if you knew Jesus was going to knock on your door tonight, you'll have your stuff done. Right? I'm having mine. He might come knock on my heart tonight. Who knows? Put this in here. All right. Put this drink in here. Thank you, Lord. Put this drink up here. Gonna, uh, I'm just thankful that you can't do nothing unless 
the Lord uh, allowed me to. I couldn't get up and just start cleaning up because I wanted to. If God don't do it, it won't be done. Oh my. So, I thank God. He got me cleaning up my house. He talking about wrinkles and spots. God is coming back here. And I'm taking heed. He said, he said, take heed to myself. Lord, I take heed to myself. Myself. Listen to what you're saying, Maxine. Listen to what you're saying to yourself because it ain't you saying it to yourself. It's God through the grace of Jesus Christ saying it to me and I'm saying it to you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, Jesus, we don't, know. we don't know why we do what we do. Only you know for you are the all-knowing God. Oh, God, have mercy on us. page one time yes you know wanted to call it was a little late I couldn't take no calls and I just began to say Lord don't let me be tempted I can be tempted that's when he said he wanted to endure you gonna go through but you got to in Door. You hear what I'm saying? You got to endure. He said, Blessed is the man, like he said, that endures. He called up on the temptation. He said, For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And I want the crown of life. Thank you, Lord. I desire the crown of life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He love us. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. We're not tempted of God. For God tempts no man, okay, with evil. So what I was looking at, it was evil because I could see the flesh of the person. So that's what I thought looked good. But God. It's saying he don't do that. Thank you, Father. I've been being tempted. Oh, my God. I've been being tempted. In more than one way. But I thank God for letting me know tonight that he 
is not the one to be tempting us. Be not. I don't care. He said, confess your thoughts one to another that you could be healed. So I'm confessing my thoughts tonight of just being nice and not even knowing sometimes you are you being tempted. He said, let us pray. Into not into temptation. If we don't pray, we're gonna go right on in. That's the doorway to temptation. Not praying. And the enemy be not wanting me to pray. Like when I wake up in the mornings, you know, it's like I don't want to go in the closet. Mm -mm, you going in there. But God draws me in. He, he, he allows me to come on in and I tell him the truth. Lord, I ain't even want to come in here this morning. But Lord, I ask you to forgive me. And I, I tell him the truth. Because he knows your heart. And you know to go in. But if you don't want to go in, you can make your own decision. But when you, you know, endure the temptation to not go in, he sees it. He sees it. He knows everything. So. Thank God that I got all that done. Now we gotta watch the salt for the study. Yes, Lord. Mm, we gotta endure temptation. There has no temptation taking me or taking you. Mm -hmm. But that which is common to who? Man. They ain't talking about angels. They ain't talking about, he says, common to man. So I am a type of man, I'm a woman. So the temptation that comes to women is common. It ain't taking you, it ain't taking you. It's common to man, whatever. It's because we are the earth. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody. You know all things, Lord. You know all things. Give we'll us a trash bag here. Put the trash in. over this flow and I
Get these cups off my hair. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, what else does flour need to be mopped? Gotta do it. I gotta do it. There's some things in our life we don't want to do, but we gotta do it. Because it comes along with the territory. See, the floor has something to do with the kitchen. So just washing the dishes and washing all the appliances and all that, you got to get the flow. And the flow is similar to the foundation, probably. You got to get to the foundation. Hallelujah. That's what I got to do. You can't just want the kitchen to look nice and then what you... Oh, man, I don't know the thing out there. Then what you're standing on... Ain't clean. I gotta be standing on a clean foundation. Oh my. Got to stand on a clean foundation, Lord. Now, do you want to pour this grease back from a delicate as much as I hate to use my cup? I'm going to pour it on anyway. Cleansed in the kitchen. Now put this back on here. 
and uh, we're gonna take this out to the trash tonight. We ain't gonna let that sit in there. Okay. Oh God, thank you for helping me. Thank you for helping me clean the kitchen, Lord. And cleaning it because I know you soon to come. Well, we don't know when, but Father, we just have to keep our house clean, keep our, you know, house in order. So let no uncleanness be in here. Meeting me. We can't let no uncleanness be nowhere in here. God knows if we know what it is and if we don't. Oh, he knows everything. Lord, I ask you to help me. To clean up that which I know needs to be cleaned and allow you to show me what you On the refrigerator, washing it off, washing it down. Okay, got that done. Now we got to take this out. This is a cup of grease. We're gonna take it out the door because. I'm not keeping nothing in here that's causing my clean mess. All you have to do. Just do what you gotta do, and you'll do what you gotta do. If you do what you gotta do, you do what you gotta do. Now, if you ain't doing what you gotta do, you'll never do what you gotta do. So that's that. Now we gotta get to the scroll. Not the flow. So, let's get it done. It ain't nothing hard except we think it's hard. So we need a knife. Something to, uh, yeah, I know. I'm not gonna stay in here either. You sure not? Everything where it belongs. And when you put things where they belong, you don't have to keep looking for anywhere to put them. 
Everything has a place. Wow. Lord, talk to me. Everything has a place. Now, it all depends on whether or not you desire to put things where they belong. And if you don't want to put it where it belongs, then it will continue to be out of place until you get the wisdom and the understanding that it has a place. I mean, everything will stay out of place until I make up in my mind this has a place. done the kitchen. Thank y'all for helping me by watching me, making me be accountable. See, a lot of times, ain't nobody watching you. You ain't gonna do it. But even though I would do it anyway, but I just tonight thought I would just speak and, and do the dishes, you know, and do the kitchen. And just talk. Because sometimes when people with you, it's easy to do. Like sometimes if you need to do something, make your bed or whatever, when somebody there or even on the phone with you, then you, you do it real quick. And it wasn't all that hard to do. On my hands and knees, cause, oh, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. So now what I gotta do is put some um, you know. So on the floor, down, 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 down. I can't get on my hands and knees now because I don't put the stuff out in here. Now we're going to do like this. And what we're going to do is put some...
I thought I had some uh, bleach. I believe that gives me me walk easy because this water might slip me up. Okay. I thought I had some. Let's just pour a little bit. Let's stay there for a minute there. And we will come back and finish the cleaning of the kitchen. Amen. I'm going to go sit down over here. Well, I hope I got no bleach under my shoes that will fade my rug. That's what it takes. If you're going to please God, if you want to be virtuous, sorry for my runny nose, but if you want to be virtuous, you got to do what you got to do to do what you got to do. When God say do what you got to do. So the kitchen is done. The floor will be mopped and my foyer will be done. And then we might take up another one tomorrow. You know, you can't do everything in a day. The Lord's will for me to live to see. I'll vacuum all my carpets tomorrow. Ooh, putting your house in order. You can't do it in a day. You got to do it as the Lord shows you and you willing and obedient. You're going to eat. Okay? So with that said, Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to go in here do this floor. Once that water hit them, anything that's on the floor, then I have to make sure ain't nothing stuck on the floor. I'm telling you the truth. That's what you got to do. Because I've been going to my conf not conference, uh, cruise, and that was four days. Then Easter Sunday, I just haven't gotten around to doing anything. So, with that said, it is now 11.52. Y'all have a good night.